Okay, guys, I'm here to give you my review of WWE Friday Night SmackDown. I would have made it last night, but my camera was dead. Um, my review of WWE Friday Night SmackDown. And last night, SmackDown was actually, I think, was I thought was a pretty good show last night. Um, no, we, there wasn't really any recaps. The only recaps you really saw was Triple H and Lesnar and um, Undertaker and... Um, CM Punk, that's really it, so, that, uh, uh, that's a good thing, I was afraid on this show, they were going to show the entire Rock and Cena face off, but that's not what happened at all, so, um, this smack, so, this smackdown happened on March 29th, 2013, and, um, we have JBL, Michael Cole, and Josh Matthews on commentary, and then, um, it starts by telling you what's going to happen with the Rock, um, John Cena situation, Alberto Del Rio, Jack Swagger, the Sh and The Shield, Randy Orton, Sheamus, and Big Show. Um, we get The Rock promo, he, he just came right out, um, and he tells a story about, um, well, first he whips out a Hershey, um, a Hershey, a Hershey bar, like a Hershey's chocolate bar, and, um, he talks about his stories in, um, Hershey, Pennsylvania, how he moved in, and it, we saw a picture of him when he was 15 years old, and he looked pretty funny. I can't, he, his head didn't even look like it was as big as it, of his body. His head was, like, real small. And he's like, get that off the Titan Tron. Then, um, he talks about how, um, he, uh, an old lady tried to go for his candy, you know what's, but, but, but if you don't get out of here, I'm gonna kick your candy ass. And, um, he says the millions and millions of people, so he just pretty much talks about the whole story. And then we get the return of John Laurinaitis, saying I thought that was awesome. We got the return of John Laurinaitis. At first I thought it was Jack Swagger because he kind of has the same theme song as John Laurinaitis, but it actually was John Laurinaitis. I liked that. Um, and um, he comes out and he says that, Teddy, and he was invited by Teddy Lawn, and he said that... Um, Teddy, and he said that, um, he, Teddy, Teddy Lawn thinks that he's just going to be out there too long and get rock bottom. That's not going to happen. And, um, he says that he was fired because of John Cena. And, um, he, J the, John Laurinaitis says that he can make it better and he can be in the Rock's corner. The Rock says that, I have a business deal for you. We can, you and I can send John Cena a message together. He gives him the spine buster and the people's elbow and he leaves. So I thought that was a pretty nice segment. I think John Laurinaitis did a pretty good job. Um, I wasn't the big John Laurinaitis fan, but I'm kind of a fan of him now. Um, when he was general manager, I was a fan of him a little bit. But then when he um, just started taking the spotlight from guys that didn't deserve it, it was just awful. Um, so, yeah. Then we get Chris Jericho versus Wade Barrett with the Miz on commentary. And during this, it shows the WrestleMania purchase merchandise ad with the steel chair. With John Cena, The Rock, and Brock Lesnar on it, no. Um, this match was a pretty good match. Um, Wade Barrett did a big boot while Chris Jericho was on the turnbuckle. And then Chris Jericho went for that springboard drop kick, but Wade Barrett ducked out of the way. Um, and then uh, he put Jericho back in the ring. Then he starts talking trash to, to The Miz. And um, then when Wade Barrett gets back in the ring, Chris Jericho hits him with the cold breaker. And... Um, but, and wins the match, then, um, he say, he starts saying Fandango's name, calling him Fandumbo, Fandusco, Fandanso, Danso my name -o. Then Fandango comes out, and he, he's about to fight Chris Jericho, but he leaves. So, uh, I thought that was pretty good stuff right there. Then we get the WWEshop.com ad. We, it shows the Triple H block Lesnar rivalry. And, um... We get a Paul Heyman interview, and he's, ta and he's talking about the uh, Triple H Brock Lesnar match. Josh Matthews asked him um, his reaction to, Paul, to um, Triple H's promo on, on Raw, but he doesn't react to it. And he says, when um, we were talking about Triple H's um, career being on the line, we're not just talking about his annual career, we're talking about his career as the COO. When he becomes a COO, he's going to have to... Just look back at the stage and watch people compete. He can't do it. He has to. He can only do it the way they want to do it. Then everyone's gonna rebel against Triple H, and everyone and Triple H will be out of business. Is pretty much what he says. So I thought that was a nice segment right there. We get Ryback versus Mark Henry in a bench press competition. Um, 
Booker T introduces um, Ryback, and Teddy Long introduces Mark Henry, and that pisses Booker T off. Um, then um, Booker T says that Ryback's going to go first, and then Teddy Long like, wait, I thought we flipped the coin, so why doesn't Mark Henry go first? And he's just pissing um, Booker T off. And then um, Teddy Long says that, uh, uh, no, Booker T says the most bench press he's ever done was 51, so Mark Henry does 53. And he's, then he ends up stopping. Um, and then Ryback just does it quick. He gets to fit, when he gets to 53, he's about to be um, Mark Henry. But Mark, and there was no physical contact, by the way. But Mark Henry grabs the ball and he chokes Ryback with it. So technically, he didn't touch Ryback. So so he's not banned from WrestleMania. So if one of them had touched the other, they would, would have been banned from, from WrestleMania. Let me get the WrestleMania 29 ad. It shows Ryback versus Mark Henry in the Bench Press competition. We get Dolph Ziggler and AJ Lee with Biggie Langston versus Daniel Bryan and Caitlin with Kane. I actually did like this match. It was a decent match. Um, AJ gave Caitlin two neck breakers in a row. Daniel Bryan came and made the hot tag when he went, and Biggie Langston gets involved, and Kane. And Kane gives him the big boot on the outside. Dolph Ziggler drop kicks Kane. Um, Daniel Bryan goes for the no lock, but then he tags AJ in. And um, Daniel Bryan and it, um, Dolph Ziggler fight it on the outside. And um, AJ Lee gets on Dolph Ziggler's back, like a sleeper hole position. Then um, she gets off, I forget why. Da and Dolph Ziggler goes to. Um, do, ram him into the uh, timekeeper's area, but Daniel Bryan counters and uh, into a back back body drop, and he goes over there. Then AJ gets in the ring, and Caitlyn spears her for the win, so I thought that was a fine match. And we're definitely going to get Caitlyn versus AJ for the Divas title at Mania. Then we get then the Shield backstage talking about the, the match, um, how WrestleMania is known as the showcase of the Immortals, and how it's known as all those things. And they talk about how and how they can't coexist. They're gonna, they are not, they are going to implode before um, they can even um, before a big show before before the Shield beats them at Mania. And that was pretty much it. We get the Great Collie with Natalia and Hornswoggle versus Jack Swagger with Zeb Coulter. Um, Jack Zeb Coulter says that when he hears that when he hears the voice in a different language, he hears the Great Kali. Lead's voice, which was a funny sin. Uh, the match wasn't that great. Um, on the outside, Jack Swagger has the ankle. Yep. Sorry about that interruption. So as I was saying, the great Kali had the ankle lock. No, Jack Swagger had the ankle lock on the outside on the great Kali. So they both get counted out. Hornswoggle tries to save him, but Swagger bullies him. And he goes to put him in the ankle lock, but Bacardo Rodriguez comes up and he says to come break his other ankle. But it was a setup. Delio attacks him from behind, tries to get him in the cross, um, the cross arm breaker, but... Um, Zeb Coulter gouges his eyes, and then Mikado hits him off the off the back with the clutch. Delia goes to hit um, Jack Swagger with the clutch, but Swagger gets out of the way. Then we get the Raw rebound. Um, we get Sheamus, Randy Orton, and Big Show interview. There's a new um, interviewer named I forget Ray, I forget what they called her because I deleted off the DVR and I was gonna write the name down, but I forgot. 
Um, they took um, Sheamus and Big Show and Sheamus talk about how they something to get a lawn, and Big Show and Sheamus start arguing, but we'll Orton, Randy Orton gets him to start focusing again. Uh, then it shows the SmackDown after WrestleMania 29 ad. We get Sheamus, Randy Orton, and Big Show versus Team Oates, Scholars, and Antonio Cesaro. Um, Damian Sandow says that they are not, that, um, that, um, Randy Orton, Big Show, and Sheamus aren't a, a formidable team like, uh, like, like Team Oates, Scholars, and Cesaro. Cody Rhodes says that the um, implosion that the implosion is going to lead to the downfall, and Cesaro just um, yodels. And then uh, we get the match, and it was okay. Um, I actually it, it showed that they could work together. Then um, what you had was um, Cesaro, Antonio, um, Big Show knocked, um, and when Randy Orton tried to Cesaro tried to jump off the rope. Preventing Randy Orton from making the tag. Big Show pushed him off the ropes. Uh, Sheamus gets the hot tag um, on Cody uh, on Cody Rhodes, and then um, Big Show knocks out um, Antonio Cesaro. Randy Orton now KOs Damian Sand now, and Sheamus blow kicks Cody Rhodes for the win. The Shield come out, and they they go to come out the usual way, but this time Sheamus, Randy Orton, Big Show go up on the ramp, and they fight him off, and and they escape. And then that's how the show went. So I thought the SmackDown wasn't too bad. It was a pretty good SmackDown. And um, I hope to see more Smack. That, but I'm going to tell you right now. Next week's SmackDown is going to look awful. Here's what happens usually the next week's, week. The, the SmackDown before WrestleMania. It's just recaps, recaps, recaps. I'll always watch the show. But if it's just recaps, you're not even going to want to see me review that piece of shit. To be honest with you, you are not gonna want to see me review that. It was just awful. I'm gonna go to the prom next week, so hopefully I won't. So you won't even have to see a review of that. But uh, next week, um, it's gonna on Monday though. Next week's gonna be weird because I think um, there's gonna be people because I'm having a WrestleMania birthday party, and there will be people doing the um, predictions video. Um, it might be on either on CM Brothers. Or less than Fortune 44. We'll see. Um, but as for the SmackDown, it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too great. But that's pretty much it, guys. See you later.